Yes. You go so crazy. John, give me an intro. What are we doing today? Uh, today we're in a snow bear because it's 20 below and that is happening and I can barely think or talk and you know, fires. All right. This All right. This makes me go crazy. Today we are with Mr. John Hoyer for the third and final day of our Devil's Lake tour. Today, perch is the goal. We are starting to fill the bucket and uh, yeah, we've been bouncing around. I haven't really pulled the camera gear out. I had the head cam on for maybe capturing a little bit, but little perch. Of course the issue because one's going to pass the other. Keep that? Yep. John loves perch more than anyone I know. Today I'm going to try to extract as much info out of him as possible to share with you guys because John is passionate about perch and there's a lot to learn and we are on the first good school today. So I'm going to set the camera down and hopefully start setting hooks. See how I'm just not? You're, you're like, yeah, you're just crowd tag. But like big high flutters, like especially that jig. You want to just be cranking okay. on the thing, let it free fall around. And then like eventually once they see anyone nose up, that's the that's everybody's that like, oh, all what's up? up, what's up, what are we doing? Yeah. So that's how you always want to risk reward to like try to catch them two, three feet off. Um, and it's just going to make the odds of you catching the next one like exponentially higher. Yeah. Like last resort is to go down this close. Yeah. And then even, I'm not going to let one bite here. But yeah, but once they all see each other, then it's like, okay, we're going. And then the big one, the dominant one, will like fly up past them. Look at this. But everything with a perch, like movement and stuff, it should happen in a second. Like yeah. Half a second, what you're doing should say yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So everything else is like. That's a nice one coming up to you. Yeah, I don't know anything about. Oh, here we go. Loose drag guy. It was loose drag guy. <laughs> False alarm. The video drag. YouTube well, drag, we it call it. I don't even want to show you. <laughs> I mean, did you hear that drag going? Yeah. That's how small the perch is. I'm not used to fishing in a snow bear where it's this warm, so my drag was set for, uh, you know, I thought like half pound to one pound <laughs> perch, but that one was really We'll blame big. it on the heat. Yeah, it's the heat. What's, uh, what's your uh, weapon right now? Uh, my weapon is the necessities of perch fishing, in my humble opinion. It's a tungsten jig for kind of that third, fourth, fifth perch when they're tuned down. So you would start with something aggressive like a, a rap style bait or a? Yeah, anything aggressive, a small rattle bait, a glide bait, or the classic would be like a, a 16th ounce spoon for myself. So something high flash moves around and you know, that's gonna be able to call fish in that are, you know, in the vicinity, you know, catch as many as you can with those. But really the trick is to keep the attention of the school. So. Like the second, I mean, I'm talking one or two seconds that I watch one deny it. A lot of times, especially if I have backup and somebody's down there, I'll just rifle this up. Switch drop, rods. Yeah, drop the jig down and they, they can't deny that tungsten jig. It doesn't matter where you fish perch. They will always bite that jig. So the goal then is to just catch another one and then you turn the whole school on hmm. again. Yep. It, yeah, it's fun. Teamwork. What do you have down there right now? Spoon. I don't know if I have a larva down there. I feel like I might've lost all them. Yeah, come on guys. John getting them fired up. Yeah, they're gonna all see that. Oh yeah, look at them. Wow. Hurry. This is a I'm nice trying. One. Ho, ho, ho. Getting bigger? Yep. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's why they were a little uh, less likely to bite right away. All right, let's get the camera off for that one. Hold them out and make them look real big. Nice. On the jig and spoon. Yeah, choked it. Good job, buddy. Yeah, yeah. pod came in and you tease them, you tantalize them. Oh man, they're just loving you so much. I'm jigging way more aggressively too though. Like that thing, if they're reacting to this, like see how they all get cautious on the Vexar the second that one planes out yeah. and like denies. And then the second that one comes up, it's like, oh, whoa, are we? Yeah. Happens fast. Got him. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. This is when the only anxiety I get in fishing, knowing that I'm about two, two spikes short, but I'm not gonna rebate because I need to get down there. Okay, I'm trying John's secret trick of pounding in the mud. Is that what you're doing right now? No. Yeah. John said, you try to keep it above them and if you can't get them to rise up, just drop it in the mud. It's a last resort because you don't want to push that school down, but you will catch one every time. And a lot of times they're big ones like that one. Eh, decent. Uh, yeah, second biggest of the day. Nice, dude. 
perching with the perch master. I'm using a four millimeter tungsten by Frostbite. This is the dipstick I'm using. And I would say this is probably the perfect perch rod. You could add the, you know, the spring tip too, but the 39 light, yeah, such a sweet crappie, bluegill and perch rod. So like when I do that bottom pound move, yeah, I don't leave it down there forever. Cause I know one's looking at it for sure. Like they'll see it go down. A lot of times you'll see them on your flasher. Yeah. Like that one, he was, he was all over it, but I'm not even gonna give him another chance. Cause like they definitely are smart enough where yeah. they're just gonna like, if they denied you once. They're gonna deny you again. Well, the only, the only way you're gonna get him to bite the next time is if he's got buddies with and there's yeah. competition, but everything like happens super fast. At least that's how I interpret it. He thinks like a perch. Well, it's an instant gratification thing. When you get it right, it should be happening every drop. Yeah. Or, you know, every, if the perch doesn't react instantly to whatever you just changed, it's just like, keep changing, keep, keep changing. Keep changing until you, yeah. Top perch color. One color for the rest of your life for perch. Pink. Pink. You Pink and it. gold. They have gold in the sun, pink in any type of clouds. Okay, no, but you only got to pick one. I didn't say two, John. I said one. Well, there's two conditions. Nope. Not one. Pink. Okay. There you have it. Glow. Pink Glow red, whatever. Glow pink. It's tough to lock you down on a straight answer. Well, I got a lot of stuff going on in my head, especially with perch. <laughs> hey, right on you. Okay, I got a little trick my buddy showed me. So if he doesn't want to eat, you drop him to the mud and you just pound. You can see his face down on it right now. And I'm just going to lift it up a little bit. Come on now. Oh. That only works for edible size perch. This one's too big. No, it's too small. <laughs> Okay, maybe he is edible, Jay. Yes. Let's slab that guy up. Uh, yeah, all day. That's a working man's keeper. <laughs> working man's keeper. Yep. I'm learning all the North Dakota slang from Hoyer. We're coming so fast, dude. Really? Oh yeah. I'm not gonna bite this thing though. Come on. I'm just gonna reel out of there. John calls him in and, oh wow, look at this. Uh, You're a nice man, John. Active. <laughs> this one's very small. It, that was perfect. As soon as you pulled the bait out, he just came right over to me. You're a generous man. That guy is gonna go back to the bottom of Devil's Lake. Uh, another one. Hurry, hurry, they're not gonna bite this. Jay, faster, faster. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> oh no. You're getting me antsy, I just lost like all my waxies. Oh no. I thought musky fishing would get you the most intense, but it's perch fishing. Look at my jig. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh! You gotta catch that one, Jay. I know. You have to catch the first one. Okay, what about the second? Yes. Can I catch you the have second? To catch you have to catch the first or the second. Oh, look at them all. Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. I could eat it on the way down? Yeah, I ate it on the way down. Okay. I opened my bail and it just look didn't. Look at them all coming up now. Yeah. Oh, parties. Yeah? Sure. Hoyer is the perch whisperer. Except I yell at him. Now! Catch Come the on. first one, Jay! Come on! I feel like it's intense. I know. He's like my hockey coach. I'm not doing well. Light drag guy. I think I this can. This is the smallest out. perch ever. <laughs> it's a little guy. So the greatest perch move ever is you get a school, and it's not like I don't do it if it's the initial part of the school where they're just racing. I'll yeah. like, you know hold it above them, try to make a different one come up. But if you just have onesie twosies and a big one or whatever size one comes up and nips you. But you can roll it, you can miss it, whatever. Just the hook set and a miss. I'll let it like, so you're usually up here, you yeah. let it flutter down and it's like, start shaking it. If it doesn't instantly stop and move up, you just go like this from like five feet up. And you let it go all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. And you just pat it on the bottom, it literally works 100% of the time. I've never not, it has never not worked. Really? They'll eat it off the bottom. Because it's like the bait's falling like they well, just Well, they wounded it. it, yeah. Ooh, more fish, look at the fish on your side. That's a nice one, he's coming in hot. Just trigger him. Oh, yeah, he's gonna, oh. So here's the moment of truth. Okay, he the stops. The drop to the bottom? Well, he stops, so now I'm not gonna let it fall past him, but like just seconds here. Okay, is he gonna do it? How about all the way down to the bottom? Then it's a matter of if they saw it or not. You said 100% of the time, John. Just keep that in yeah, mind. Yeah, he didn't race down though, so. But you said the move he's was still, 100%. I think he still knows that he injured it, so. We'll Can see. we do a playback of the footage? Catch him, John. Oh! oh yeah! 100% of the time they bite it. It literally works 100% of the time. Monster jig. Yeah, probably. Got him. Nice. Oh, there's another one you pulled up there. Well, that was our guy. Nothing wrong with that. We worked, you worked hard on that one. That's a working man's. 
Having fun. Oh, bigger one just came out of nowhere. Yeah. Yes, yes, this is the one. Come on. Ooh, that is a nice, I got multiples here too. This is it, this is so fun. Look at the other one racing in on you. Got yeah. him. Oh, that was nice solid ones. on the hook set. Risky. Nice. Prairie gold. I just can't trigger them like you. I think you, with that jig, I can't trigger them like you. There's like know. a nice little pod that rolled in yeah. there. So we've kind of just been following that same contour, right? Kind of the base of the base. And we're at 20, 26 feet we've been fishing. Something that you've said that sticks with me is that perch are anti-structure. Yeah. How would you how would you describe like they do hang structure shallower? When they're deeper, they're less likely to be on structure? Yeah, so like, you know, there's basically two types of perch and I have caught them on Devil's Lake shallow just a handful of times and it was late ice, but you know, generally there's so much structure on this, like flooded timber, old barnyards, rock piles, you name it. And there's always going to be as much food shallow. So, you know, some of the biggest perch that you'll catch are on accident, basically when you're walleye fishing um, or late ice, when they actually are finally making a push like shallow pre-spawn. The rule of thumb forever in perch is like less, the less the structure there is, the better the perch spot. They're just, they're always roaming. Uh, all the bugs, you know, the majority of their food is out in the soft bottom. So that's what I love about it. That's what gets me so excited is because it, they're, they're everywhere but nowhere. And all of a sudden you drill the magic hole and it's like a trap door opens up and you're on them. And it happens so everywhere, fast. Yeah. I mean, we've had some good little sequences Flurries. here, how fast it happens. Yeah. So basically like one of the things I've learned about perch is like number one is they have a very short attention span. Number two is they're super observant. So like really the game is to get any fish you can facing up and they okay. just see that fish facing up. And I think their whole life it's been, you know, that's active, active, active. There's food up there. Yeah. And then instant competition. Same way as you trigger a school of smallmouth bass. Um, you know, you catch a lot of times you'll see a school of them, you'll catch one and then boom, four casts in a row. Yeah. So it's everything in perch, you know, to try to drive those fish up. And the more fish that are around that can see that, um, the better your odds are that you activate the whole school. Yeah. Uh, another good rule of thumb is like, yeah, they live on the bottom. You know, they're constantly rummaging on the bottom and people want to default to fishing low. Maybe you can bring them up. Oh, look at that. Flying. Oh man. Oh, no. Just like that. that so I was like three up. feet off. And one of the analogies I like to think about is how far away can you see a radio tower versus how far can you see something that's on the ground? So the higher you are off the bottom, the better your odds are that that school of perch can see you because you're spotlighted up higher. And that, I mean, they're looking for anything to eat. So generally the higher you fish, the better your odds are driving that school up which in turn drives the rest of the school up, and then you catch all of them. It drives them into some catch and cook. Yeah, man. Yeah, the sun popped out, that's why they're- Turning on? on. Yeah. Like Look they're, at this. Yeah, they're, they're fired up. Yeah, like now you can crank on the jig and push them up higher, the ceiling Oh, look higher. at this other one coming in. Don't say like that. Look at that. Oh, you know. really should be I down right now. I don't wanna know, Jay. Oh, there's more, there's just endless. Jay, stop it. Wow, I can't believe you're not in the water. Get in the water right now. I'm going. I got need I like more. when the tables turn and I can. Oh, that one's gonna eat. Oh, John, just tried to steal all my bait. Oh man, he's coming back. This is where you open the bale, That's you good. drop to the bottom, and 100% of the time it works half the time. Now there's two of them. Okay, okay, John, that is. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh my, John, that is a 24, 27 inch fish. That might be a big pike. That fish is so big. Oh! All right, we're moving. What's your strategy for moving? Like now they're in an area with perch, you're just kind of doing smaller moves? Yeah, I mean, obviously with the live scope too, it's been nice to see how many are actually sliding by. So, you know, small moves catch this, big, big moves find fish. And um, yeah, so if our goal is to fill that bucket, we would make like a couple hundred foot move. Small moves. We'll do walleye in the evening, you think? Yeah. In prime time. All right, we're moving not too far. We're staying in 26 feet seems to be the magic depth. So we're gonna keep bouncing around that 26, 28 ish maybe. And yeah, it's been good. Shoo -wee. That's the ticket right there. 13. No, fish under me. Oh, he's coming to you fast. Oh, a couple of them. Look at this. 
Those are walleyes. Oh, got to be a walleye. Really? I don't know. I'd, I'd like it to be a perch. I would too. Oh yeah. Hog? That's yes. Nice. nice. Those were so aggressive. Yeah, man. So aggressive. That's what you want them to act when they come in on the screen. Yeah. How you want them to act. Look at that. Sweet. Drooling See a little Jay. hustle. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Thanks, Jay. Um, I appreciate the motivation. He's coming to me now. Oh, yes, buddy. Nice, that was good. Little move on her, huh? Oh. Look at her friends with her on the bottom. Oh, I like this one a lot. Mm, that is the perch dig that keeps me up at night. It's all the <laughs> way over by me. It's fat. It's not a giant, but it's fat. It's a good one. Yeah, buddy. Nice work. The old bottom pound trick. You can learn so much by just, you know, watching a lot of perch interactions. And Hoyer's obviously seen 10,000 times more than I've seen. But you want to try to gauge that fish's mood, you know, as fast as possible. But yeah, that's why I say it's so interesting. Like the beauty of it is, there's one. Look at you oh, too. Oh. Look at this. Look at all these fish just rolled in. I'm trying to bring them up for you, John. Oh wow, those are nice ones too. Look at this. It is carpeted. It is carpeted and the bottom is just coming alive. I can't believe my, this is the best school we've had yet. Ooh, that was a different wow. fish that just came in from the side. Holy Ooh. cow, they're flying around, dude. This yeah. is so fun. Light drag guy. Almost a double header. This is a keeping size? Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, coming to you. you Want to play? Ooh. There you go. Nice. Oh, that was good. Yeah. The perch man. Hey yo, working man's keeper. It looks like it's a pailful, but there's a lot of snow in there. The sharp. Oh, look at all these. Ooh. They're not like closing that gap though. What do I do? Drop down or yeah, keep it up there? Yeah, you need to get to them. They need to move instantly is the thing. Was that shaking it? No, I was pounding the mud. Oh, cheater. <laughs> Dude, when, okay, when there's a school like this, you need to resist that urge initially. I can't. I know, but you I need can't, to. John. Come on, double. A little bit of meat. That's what I'm talking about. So when I pound it off the bottom, I'm screwing things for you, essentially. Well, you're just, all the fish are going down to the bottom. So yeah. you're, you're never gonna just roll like all four or five of them. Yeah. If they see that thing go up and one bites it, they all want to know what just happened up yeah. there. And the next drop, you'll see the difference. Yeah. Like, no, but I can't, I can't trigger them higher up. Oh, this one's going to kill it. Sharp cadence and stop. Sharp cadence. Sharper, not as much flub. There's What's flub, left and right? Up and like, don't drop it as hard. Like, a, don't drop it like walleye. Like just really sharp little. <laughs> that was on the bottom. <laughs> that was on the bottom. <laughs> so he likes that move, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Another nice one. Oh yeah. Um, how about a quick picture of a jumbo perch? Yes. I got any uh, trail mix in my mouth? Uh, I can't tell. You're out of focus. Uh, can you wipe that off? What is it? That stupid look on your face. He just walked right into it. That was funny. What's the plan? We're going for walleyes. We are switching for the prime time bite. Uh, let's let's show the, the two baits. The bait you're using, the bait I was using. John was using a jig and spoon. I was using tungsten. And uh, yeah, I don't know that this calls them in. He also used a rattle bait that called them in a lot, but it's something big and loud. I mean, if the fish were bigger, probably would convert more on that as well, but you can't really go wrong with a small jig and, and some Euro larva. All right, we are moving for some walleyes. We're moving. Service with a smile. Number one. We got John Hoyer in the house. He's more of a perch want, guy. They want a spoon. Yeah. You can tell already. There's another one down there. We're back Look at this. in the good area. Look at this. Yeah. Let's see how bad John really wants this fall. Do you want me to grab him for you? Oh, I wouldn't have a problem getting this edible walleye. 
I think we'll keep that one, thank you. It's a 15 incher. God put those on the earth for us to fry, Jay, and you know it. America! Well, that wraps up the third and final day in my little series on Devil's Lake. Uh, I came down here to do some prep for an upcoming meat eater shoot and you know, I got fully guided and huge shout out to obviously John Hoyer. I've learned a lot this trip. Um, the Lafleur boys, thank you. Nate for hosting, uh, hosting us in the snow bear and letting us borrow your snow bear and Blake as well for showing me the white bass dangle. Uh, and of course, Jason Mitchell, Jason Mitchell outdoors for hosting. Um, yes, people in North Dakota are phenomenal. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be back. I am here for five more days doing a shoot for Meat Eater. You're gonna head over to Meat Eater to check that out, but that's probably only gonna be dropping in maybe a year or so. So anyways, get out ice fishing, pick up your garbage, and uh, don't forget to use some catch and cook if you're deep frying some fish. Big one. Yeah, me going there, that would've been a great ending. <laughs>